guys, it looks like we're finally getting everything that we wanted. Mythological creatures. That's right, we're talking about unicorns, and I'm talking about mother friggin' dragons. Don't worry, we don't have to imagine dragons. Here for you on IO, I'm Dave Wapo. Let's just shut up and get right to it, because we all want to hear about dragons. Actually guys, I lied. Before I begin this video, I want to know, what is your favorite mythological creature? Hmm? So let's talk about Hank Greeley of Stanford School of Medication and Alta Shero of the University of Wisconsin. Now they're both geneticists, and we know those geneticists, they've created things like, ooh, green rabbits, and even a glowing fish, which uh, I'm not really sure how well that works, because you know, you kind of want to blend into your environment when you're being chased by a shark. So they just posted a new essay, and they've got a lot to say. The essay Say entitled C R I S P R Critters and C R I S P R Cracks. I'm gonna call it CRISPR Critters and CRISPR Cracks. It sounds like a cracker or a munchable item that I would eat when I was in like a grade five. Woo! I got CRISPR Critters, CRISPR Cracks for snacks. Anyways, in their essay, they go on to talk about gene editing. We're not talking about splicing. We're not talking about cutting. We're talking about full out editing. The things that we do to put these videos together. In their essay, they state that it is possible for them to make a unicorn. Seriously, unicorns? I know unicorns are awesome, but why not a pegasus? Because come on, let's be honest. Unicorns only got a horn. How practical is that? We got like thousands of friggin' rhinos. That's already a horse with a horn. Literally, it's like an armor-powered horse. How about a horse that flies? Guess what? We don't need cars anymore. We just would need a lot of people to clean up the streets from poo. But more importantly, they also stated that they would be able to make these big guys. Yes, that's right, I'm talking dragons. How long is it gonna take till we can make a genetically modified human that just has like cancer bounce off of it? <laughs> yeah, take that cancer, I'm repellent to you. Mm. Now I know it when we hear about dragons, we're gonna go, okay, wait, are they just gonna be like dragon-like and they're gonna have like wings glued to them? No, believe it or not, they're gonna say that they're gonna have wings and they're gonna work. I just want them to breathe fire or ice. Cool my drinks on a nice hot afternoon. Gene editing is a fantastic thing, although it makes us raise an eyebrow because although they're doing nice things to like bring the mammoths back and probably other extinct species in which we've probably killed it also makes us wonder crap are we playing God too much which that brings me to this question do you guys think that with our advanced technology we should be doing this or shouldn't be doing this are we playing God or was DNA there for us to unlock anyways guys thanks for watching I'm Dave Wobble keep it real keep it classy keep it on the flip side out there in the real world Later!